okay? Most vulnerable area of the eyes. Have you ever poked yourself in the eye? How hard do you have to hit yourself in the eye to get a reaction? If I've got a little baby, when you're looking at the cute little baby child, oh, jeez, I dropped the kid on the floor. <laughs> it doesn't take much of a reaction. It's shot to the eyes. That's why the eyes are so vulnerable, regardless of the size and strength of the person. Yeah. You know, I've never been to a gym where I go and say, could I please be directed to the eye strengthening machine where I can hang weights off my eyes, okay? There's no such thing. You can't strengthen the eyes. Because people, what if the guy's too big and strong? I can't do anything. Well, his eyes are no different than anybody else's, okay? And that's where people come into, yeah, but I don't think I could strike somebody in the eyes. What's also important, and we're not doing, like, if we did even a longer course, I would talk about this more, but you need to really think ahead of time. Can you picture yourself putting your fingers two inches into another person's skull? Like, it sounds disgusting. Like, usually somebody will go, no, and most like, <laughs> Truly no, but I suppose if I were in that situation for real, in fear for my life, and Colonel Williams was in my basement around the water heater, I probably could. Right, and you need to think of these things ahead of time. Yeah. And most people, is what is it you can tap into that would allow you to do that? For most people, it's family. Like I say, everywhere I go, my kids are with me. You know, And what I mean by that is if right now you snap and attack me, what I've got programmed is you're not just attacking me, you're trying to take a father away from two kids, you're trying to take a husband away from a wife. That might not be the best example because my wife probably sent you. Okay, <laughs> but what I'm getting at there is if you've got an important enough reasons to defend yourself, you'll do whatever it takes to get home safely to your family. You tried to be aware and avoid. You tried to verbally diffuse. You didn't ask this person to come into your life and attack. All I want to do is get home to my family. I give myself permission to do whatever I have to do to get home to my family. Not to punish the other person, but you know, but that's when you think of those things. Because you don't want to be thinking about it, you know, that first time you might be attacked. And it's different for everybody. There's a 